Hey guys, Plasma 1945, some early benchmarks of the 4090 are out and here are my thoughts as I went through those comparisons and I'm gonna to try to extrapolate that to DCS world and links to the original benchmark videos are in the description. The benchmarks usually put the two numbers side by side showing the average and max FPS. What I've done here is I started comparing the 4090 to 3090, we see a 48% boost between the 40 and the 3090. And we're gonna see this story across all of the benchmarks. If you're looking at performance benchmarks of the 4090 or the 3090 and other cards, look for those which are gonna be at 4K without DLSS if you're a VR pilot, because that's what counts because DCS does not use DLSS. So here we have 12900K Cyberpark 2077 at 4K. We're looking at the lowest one FPS and we're seeing 53% faster for the 4090. This story is gonna keep repeating itself. Now, we heard that 4090 is gonna be twice as fast, three times as fast, four times as fast. Yes, if you're using the technologies like DLSS, which take a low resolution picture, scale it up and so forth. DLSS has to be configured and pre-programmed in the game and does not mean that it's going to in any way work in DCS world because DCS does not use DLSS. Now, looking here, Call of Duty, 41% faster on the 4090. This is in the raw performance without DLSS. Spider-Man, 50% faster. Even though if you look at the average FPS, it's 196 versus 129. Yeah, because Spider-Man's originally designed for Sony PlayStation 5, it's super optimized. All the console games are going to have crazy high FPS. Red Dead Redemption 2, again, back to that 54% faster. And what does this mean for a VR pilot? Well, the G2 has two panels in each eye, running a total of 4K per eye, approximately. Which basically means that you're going to get 55% faster divided by two, so maybe 20, 25% faster. So if you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 15 frames per second more in your G2, that's what I would be looking at for the difference between the 3090 and the 4090. Again, these are just my estimates, but I'm deriving what I can see here. You got to keep in mind until there's a significant change to the engine that runs uh, DCS and DCS world where it has more multi-threading and Vulcan and so forth we're not gonna see those super significant jumps in improvement here Battlefield 2042 73% improvement so again depending on the game but I would be guessing that if you're flying in VR going from a 3090 to 4090 you're gonna get 10 to 15% those are my early preliminary opinions I'm gonna see if I can get a 4090 for a test perhaps from a local IT store somewhere but Honestly, I wouldn't hold my breath just yet for the 4090 being twice as fast because we can even tell here without DLSS and all the other fancy stuff, 50% faster, 40% faster is what I would expect. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Plasma1945 out.